So Galatians 2, 19 through 21 says, For when I tried to keep the law, it condemned me, so I died to the law. I stopped trying to meet all its requirements so that I might live for God. My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in the earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not treat the grace of God as meaningless, for if keeping the law can make us right with God, then there was no need for Christ to die. And today, I'm just grateful for Christ dying for our sins. I'm grateful for my wife, uh, my children, uh, my family, and grateful that God has woken me up today to start a new week with some um, amazing people as always. In this particular verse, um, <laughs> that's how my note what, what I wasn't what I didn't bookmark was because uh, when I read it last night I was like you know what this this is something good to talk about to start the week off with right because um in this particular verse uh, with Paul speaking to the Galatians you know he 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 gives us a a good reminder you know um about what it is to be a Christian. Right? And the sacrifice of giving up your own self and rem reminding yourself, reminding you and others that, you know, that now you live with Christ in you. You know, once you give your life to the Lord, like think about it, you, you turn over your life to God. You know what I mean? So that you could operate as a Christ like human. You know, and that is, like I've I spoken about this before. Um, and the, the whole goal of that is, is to sort of just to think, like, what would Jesus do? You know, what would he do in this situation? You know, like, what would he, how would he react to this? You know, um, while none of us are perfect, you know, all of us were born in sin. And it's going to be hard. It's, trust me, it won't be easy. I can tell you from first-hand experience. But when you sort of, Give yourself up to it, you know, and, 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 and sooner or later you will start to see it sort of just begin to flow, you know, like it, it'll just, it'll just flow. And, you know, something else what I, what I wanted to share about is what Paul said to the end of it is, and I won't, I won't go on much longer, is where Paul says, I do not treat the grace of God as meaningless, you know, um, and that's something that I think that we should always, all, always be reminded of. You know, and, and just always be grateful to God for, for every moment, you know, every time, every every single opportunity that we're given, you know, every time we wake up in the morning, you know, the first thing we should do is, is give God thanks and say, thank you for waking me up this morning, you know, because he brought us here through his grace and his mercy because he didn't have to, you know, if last night could have been our last. You know, but just the fact that we are here and we have the opportunity to speak and the people can hear our voice is a living testimony to the grace of God and the goodness of God. So I just want to say how thankful I am to just be here this morning, to, to, to be able to speak to each and every one of you and to just be able to talk to each and every one of you and um, to, just, to just have the opportunity to worship with each and every one of you. So thank you everyone for the opportunity to speak. I see we have a new person down in the crowd. Welcome Bradley to Breakfast in the Bible, a morning motivation. Um, feel free to come on stage if you ever want to talk or just say a verse or anything. It's a safe space for us. I'm carrying our language from my